Okay, not sure you can see greatly. Where is she? There's a mama deer right here and two babies scampered off uh, that way. A little bit shy, they might come back. So I'm just here relaxing in nature. This is a beautiful summer day, a vacation day for me, a vacation week. And uh, yeah, I just thought I'd go into the forest to try to find some wildlife. Uh, the deer is a very sacred power animal to me. So uh, let me just flip the camera. I wish I could do it mid-film and just switch it to the other. I hope that's okay if I can hold the damn thing. <laughs> I can't even see myself, but I uh, asked the forest if it would be okay to take this uh, deer bone that I found. It's very dry and all the marrow has been uh, sucked out. So I'm just here to honor the animal. Oh, the babies might come back. Oh, I see them over there. Let's switch it around. I'm not sure how the filming was on my face. There are two little babies over there. Oh, there, there it is. There's one. So these are white-tailed deer, otherwise known in the Native American languages as Wapiti, and I believe that's uh, Algonquin, Algonquin, Algonquin uh, languages. Oh, and I hear some movement uh, over that way. I uh, don't mean the birds, which are up there. Pit, pit, pit. <laughs> Let's see if the babies come back uh, to say hi to the mom. Uh, yeah, they're pretty camouflaged. I just wandered in here looking at. Uh, I found a someone's yucky old uh, campsite over there. I've been thinking about doing a camp out here on one of the night uh, weeks. It's a bit lonely to do it alone, but at the same time, it's a good challenge also to go, uh, you know, face yourself uh, that way. Face, uh, get out of your comfort zone. <laughs> I'm an avid hiker sometimes, if avid is the right word, and uh, consider myself a bit of a druid, a bit of a shaman. And yet, nonetheless, uh, I'm such a finicky light sleeper, so I know if I come here, I'll probably have a weird night but maybe not maybe a bit of ganja will help me sleep <laughs> so I won't film for too long I want to see if maybe the babies come back yeah you guys did see that I filmed one of them they had big white fluffy tails and white spots on the side of them uh, when they're young that's how you can tell and uh, the males of this species they don't really grow huge antlers they're actually kind of small little antlers which is good because I guess it helps them to navigate uh, through the forest without getting uh, stuck as much they're not really fueled ranging deer they're more like forest deer kind of creeping through. I find their tracks all the time. I'll flip it that way. I find their tracks all the time and uh, beast paths as I call them. For example, there's one right here which I don't believe is man-made per se. It's just sort of a, a deer, a beast pathway. I'm gonna go through there after the video and see. I just want to see if maybe the uh, babies would come back here. They kind of ambled a little closer. Oh, speaking of which, I just saw, oh, oh, there's a baby. A baby Wapiti. So yeah, um, the deer is a sacred power animal. It prefers to be, um, of course, as you guys probably know, timid and gentle for the most part, but it'll fight in the rutting season, as they say, when, they, when they're horny, literally and figuratively. <laughs> yeah, we all can be like that sometimes. But uh, yeah, so I, uh, I admire this animal greatly. I think if I could pick four power animals that I could literally shapeshift into, I don't mean like a creepy ass skinwalker or something like that. But uh, in the Druid arts, they have the same legends in for the Celtic and Germanic type Druids, uh, forest, white forest shamans and such. And uh, they talk about shapeshifting as well, whether that's literal or figurative. Well, literal in the spiritual sense, in the astral world, you can change your body and shape and form very easily, of course. Physically, not so easily. If there's some dark packs that they made or secret powers that some of them had to do that in reality, like the skinwalker legends that are still persistent today uh, in the druid lands, uh, the Celtic lands no less. But uh, the deer are great because they're gentle and respectful of the woods, but they can be ferocious if really needs be. Uh, it's sort of a shame that, uh... oh, it's hard to film. Camouflage little fella. Did I get it? Yeah, that's as far as my, uh, my zoom will go on this Google phone. But they don't seem scared to me. I mean, I, I'm sitting down and uh, having a nice time. So yeah, um, power animals, I was saying four. Well, I'd pick uh, one for the air, so a great eagle or a hawk. Uh, it's kind of a given, although peregrine falcons, falcons and such are nice. I also, oh, speaking of the beast path, I might get this little fella down here. If he or she will cross. You can barely see it there moving yet. Oh, there you go, sweetheart. <laughs> So yeah, I'd pick a, a great eagle or a hawk or a falcon of some kind, maybe. Oh, there's a little baby coming closer. I didn't even see ya. You guys are so good at sneaking up on me. 
I'm pretty quiet in the woods too, I gotta say, uh, for being quiet for the most part, but not that's not always true. I can snap a big twig uh, with the best of them. Oh my God, you're so beautiful, hello. I wish I had carrots or something to give you guys, my gosh. Oh, and there's another baby. The other baby's down the beast path. Wait, uh, sort of way down there. Yeah, there it is. So I got the two babies and the mama relaxing. Okay, so yeah, I was just saying, uh, pick the uh, hawk or the eagle, etc. For water, maybe a big pike or a sturgeon. I don't know, it's a, not necessarily a shark, but a strong underwater creature. And then maybe, uh, obviously the deer, as I was mentioning, and then maybe a, a predator on the land for, for power. If you need to go on the hunt, maybe I would pick like a, a mountain lion or something. I want to see if these guys come close. I think talking to them with a relatively calm voice is helpful. You're so beautiful. I want to, you want to come here? Do you want to come here? I'm not going to hurt you. I'll just uh, pet your face a bit, if it's okay with Mama. I hope your dad's not around going to whack me with his antlers. <laughs> yeah, they found the beast paths. Let's see if this guy comes closer. Aren't you so cute? Well, you're not a baby baby. You're more like a little juvenile, but you're still a baby. Hey, Mama. You don't worry. I, won't, I wouldn't hurt your kids if it was the last meal on Earth. I'd rather uh, eat uh, bark and freaking leaves than kill an animal just like that. Are you going to come closer? Oh my god, you really are. I'm your friend. I have the bone here maybe of one of your ancestors. I promise you I'm not going to hurt you. Don't worry. I wouldn't dare do it. Oh, it sees something behind me. Maybe. There are four spirits here for sure. Um, I've witnessed them. Both my two children, Connor and Deirdre, they've witnessed the uh, invisible folk around here. Uh, the other day when I was not too far from here, um, some some kilometers that away is near... Uh, uh, Park La Bay on the Ottawa River. Um, I ended up seeing after my son and I. I was trying to teach him the art of making a fire. We can make a fire from scratch with like scratching a magnesium stick and a metal. Oh my God, this thing's really coming closer. Aren't you so cute? Are you gonna say hi? I won't hurt you. And uh, I could have sworn I saw like a cloaked figure flying in my peripheral vision, and I wasn't really sure. It could have been a forest guardian, it could have been a spirit of a Native American, it could have been a, an old French trapper, I have no idea. It looked like partially hooded and cloaked, but not really. But here, um, they've done funny games, like they'll, they'll move twigs and stuff, and I've actually seen rocks, little tiny rocks, jumping. Like, pl literally playing like leapfrog, like jumping in front of each other. I might have mentioned that in another video some years ago, it happened years ago. And, uh, hello sweetheart. And it was really interesting because um, you don't really see rocks play hopscotch by themselves, do ya? And one time my son and I, oh, I think they're going, one time my son and I were leaving and he was uh, using the Icelandic, and he likes the Viking and the Icelandic folklore and traditions and lifestyle. So he was talking about the, in Iceland, they call them the hidden folk, the holder folk. Yeah, the holder folk. So the holder folk, and uh, as we said goodbye to the holder folk, after practicing a, a little bit of slingshot, nothing dangerous, obviously, and uh, we had a rock thump right behind us just as we left. <laughs> the forest so that was pretty cool i see actually an epic turkey feather right here don't worry guys that's okay oh i spooked it when i wanted to get up because i found uh oh i found this this nice turkey feather i have another one in my backpack right now i actually saw oh there it is isn't that beautiful i actually saw um don't worry guys i got nervous when i got up i actually saw um five or six turkey wild turkey um that way maybe half an hour 45 minutes ago when I first entered here and uh, it was pretty cool I gave them a respectful birth I talked with them a bit and one of them sort of did a squawk at me and I said that's all good don't worry <laughs> so anyways I'm gonna explore that little beast path as I'm gonna call it I'm gonna leave mama B I'm thinking if I go that way the babies and the juveniles maybe they'll sort of um, go around and then come back to her after. Right, Mama? Okay, let me get up from here after I sit down just for a second. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, the deer are amazing. I love them so much. Beautiful, beautiful, pristine animal. Uh, graceful. Pretty fast, actually, when they want to be in the woods. Surprisingly fast when they want to be. Uh, right now, where I'm here in this uh, forest, there's no uh, predators other than well, humans, but humans don't hunt here. Not really allowed. I'm not a killer anyway. I wouldn't hunt if I didn't really have to. And uh, yeah, so there's no wolves or bears or anything like that. It's just deer, wild turkey, uh, chipmunks, raccoons, I guess, squirrels by the abundance, um, all kinds of birds. You get uh, woodpeckers, 
uh, um, uh, sparrows, robins, things like that, I guess blue jays, um, and the usual suspects, sparrows if I said that or not already. Anyway, nice calm little video in the woods, chillaxing with the deer, enjoying my little vacation, and uh, yeah, blessed be, may the spirits be with us. Oh, you guys are tumbling back? You got some uh, courage when there's two of you jumping on me. You could say hello, I'm not going to do anything. <laughs> I wish they were a bit less timid, but I'm sure humans have been annoying before. Uh, maybe being louder, you know, or just kids like yelling at them or something like that. You know, you know how kids are. So I'll uh, turn the video off. See if these little duders want to come say hi. I guess uh, me almost getting up a second ago startled them, but uh, the mom was pretty, pretty calm still. These guys are skittish for sure. That's just reality. All right, much love. Yeah, and I'll say it again. Even as the deer grows antlers. And sheds it's, it's a it's a creature of the goat that's in harmony with the seasons and teaches us to be in harmony with the seasons um, I guess they'll hibernate in winter and when it's cold but uh, which is probably what we humans should do instead of work 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 so we're kind of foolish oh this guy's come back Have you come back to say hi oh I got two of them coming back to say hi you guys are adorable oh you scared yourself did you and you bit the branch <laughs> all right I'll leave a go at that I'll see if they'll come any closer they're so cute. Yeah, you can hear uh, construction way in the distance. This is not a huge forest. And then it's segmented in parts. There's like a golf course sort of thing. A few clicks that a ways. And there's some industry around here, obviously. They might even be working on uh, the lake here or something. Like, who knows? I'm not even sure. But uh, yeah, such as it is, this is a little piece of paradise. I'm chilling with the deer spirits today. And the literal physical ones too. And uh, I hope the spirits aren't mad at me for procuring this beautiful bone. It just connects me to nature and the, the beautiful uh, spirit animal of the deer. All right, love you guys. I hope you're good. If I had food to give you, my gosh, I would. I had a, a banana and a protein bar, and they're all gone. I gave a few peanuts of peanut bar, uh, the protein bar to Chipmunk. I don't think he got it, though. Maybe scooched off before I could uh, toss it in a notable spot. <laughs> These guys are so cute. All right, if they come back closer, I'll open another video. I'm just going to sit here for a moment and then go on the beast path. And I think my water bottle is leaking in my backpack. No, I might just be sweat on my back. I guess we'll determine that in a sec. All right, good enough. Love you guys and catch on the flip side. Okay.